Hello everyone, Excedra here bringing you episode 39 of Ipovolivia, a mud pack by Kathleen. Well, in, a, in the last episode we got a lot of things done, but not as much as I wanted. Everything takes so much time. So, my biggest concern though, well, first let me show this. I added a lot of assemblers. So basically, because those are limited to eight channels, I've connected eight of them. And here I put one to set up for the future so I can put another eight right here. And all of these have two acceleration cards and some are full, some are empty. Like I, I didn't do like a proper load balancing, but I didn't want to go that far. It's not like I have some super crazy enormous craft. And by the way, all of these needs to be powered. So to be powered, they need to be connected to the ME system. They don't get powered through the interface, unfortunately. So I put a quartz fiber right there so that they don't count as a channel, but still provide power. Okay. The other thing that I did is I tried this. So I kind of have a way of automating the production of air essence, but not automated through an assembler yet maybe like the problem is if you look at this they need to occupy a certain spot if i sent three air essence and two iron ingot there would be three air essence here and two iron ingot there and i don't think it would craft anything so i'm i'm just i just turned it on and if i come in here see uh if i go for air essence shard i have 360. basically i only need a thousand for the one of the quests so I, i'm probably going to turn it back on later when i have some blood essence available and just check it and once we're above 1000 I'll switch to the other recipe and the other recipe and so on. So like I was saying um, I didn't get the scepter I wanted to craft a second scepter and I wanted to get uh, more things ready for thumb craft and I didn't but it's okay because today's going to be a different episode it's not going to be thumb craft so I still have some times. By the way, I restarted the whole brine setup right here and I silenced those machines. They were so annoying. I basically just put some muffling upgrades in them and now they're no longer annoying me. So this is permanently, so basically what I did is the electrical separ uh, electro electrolytic separator is uh, dumping the excess oxygen because I don't care for oxygen and it's importing hydrogen in our system. Then we're exporting hydrogen to the PRC and we have the water set up from an ender tank here, making biofuel and importing the biofuel and the ethylene. Uh, I could have put it in the ME system, but the thing is I don't want to clog the ME system. So what I did instead is I'm going to fill all of these gas tank up to 64 bucket each. And once everything's full, I'll set one of them to just flush. Then here, I export all of the substrate. So this is going to take a long while before it starts working because it's gonna put 64 here, then 64 here, then 64 here. And once it's put... What? Uh, excuse me, what the heck is this? A salt block is supposed to be made with... Oh, it's only two. What? I, I thought it was... Okay, so... Well, we have 64 lost here, but it doesn't matter because the moment it put one here, it puts a salt block, which is important in our system. Then I have an export. So I moved this down here for two reasons. One, I was running out of channel there, and two, I had power here and I had more channel available. See here, I'm at 15 of 32. Here, I'm at 25 of 32. So here, I export the salt block, which are automatically, I don't need to import the brine that it, uh, the salt that it makes because I don't need salt. The salt is automatically shown to, into the chemical oxidizer, which gets turned into uh, something brine. I don't remember the name gaseous brine which gets turned into brine and imported in our system and if you look at the me drive i've moved the me drive to here these are all my uh physical storage if you look at them they're pretty either fit full on bytes or full on type and so i started adding more down here and i'm probably going to need to add more 
I have this one fully dedicated to Essentia. Look at this. Aqua, Bestia, Herba, Ordo, like 516 Ordo. Wow. Like, it's kind of surprising. And then here, we've got Ignis and Terra, whatever. Here we have nothing. This one, we have Arbor. Alien. Look at the Arbor. This is stupid crazy. 1472 Arbor. Like, what the Shrek? And then here, we have nothing. So we're kind of ready. We have two free for the next one. Then here, I have the uh, gas uh, storage. And I'm only storing two gases. Hydrogen, and I don't remember what's the other one. And finally, down here, we have the fluid storage. And we're storing a couple of fluids. So you know what? Let's go back here, main floor. And let's come back here and grab this. So fluid terminal, we're storing liquid sulfuric acid. Brine, 23 bucket, essence, 10 millibucket, and liquid sulfur di dioxide, 14 bucket. You know what? Uh, do I have a liquid export? Uh, you know what? Ultimate tank. Ultimate tank. Let's grab this ultimate tank, and I can come right. Uh, nope, that's the gas terminal. Uh, interface terminal. Oh, I don't have a liquid terminal? Man. Okay, so that kind of sucks. So let's put that back here. And I I'm, I need a liquid terminal now. So terminal. ME interface, ME pattern, ME, oh, sorry, fluid terminal. So let's, oh, okay. I'm not going to complain. I'm going to put that down right here. Ooh, I might be using too many channels. No, okay, I'm good. So I've got the brine right here. So let's come right here and use a tank. What tank do I have? You know what? I'm going to use a basic fluid tank quickly. And I'm going to choose brine. Put that right here. And it's going to fill with 16, oh, 14 buckets of brine. And then I can just go, I need a mechanical pipe. Mechanical pipe. Let's grab this one. Let's put that right here with the tank on top and let's just push it in. And while it's pushing in, let's look at the quest. So during the time lapse, uh, we did complete some quests. Two of them in second chance, by the way. So we completed the biofuel and I have to be honest, this quest really annoyed the shit out of me. It's like, why is there a quest to make biofuel when we cannot use it? Like, we're making this just to dump it, and there's nothing we can do with it. But it gives us Icorium. Is that something that can be scanned? <laughs> Holy shit! Ten of each Icorium is amazing. By the way, I don't know how to craft it. I don't know why to craft it. I don't know anything about it. Second quest we completed, more pain, was the life essence. So let's train that reward. 32 wounds of augmented capacity and a, a tier 14 blood tank. I haven't even made a tier 5 yet. Uh, no, a tier 8 yet. And I get a tier 14 blood tank. Wow. Okay, it's empty. It would have been amazing if it was full of blood, but uh, I'm going to have to put that somewhere and fill it just for the fun of it. But for now, let's leave it there. Uh, so the 32 rune of augmented capacity, that's going to be very useful today. Now, if I go back here, what's the status on the brine? So basically for the brine, we're missing 72 buckets. And if I come here and look at this, we have an extra 10 bucket here. So Brian is not in the near future. Well, I said it's not in the near future, but probably in two or three episodes from now, it's going to be completed. So if I come back here, which would have been useful because it would have given us the Nether Star block that we wanted. So we should have started this. Like These two quests could have been done 20 episodes ago. Like that, I was super dumb. I had not noticed this amazing re uh, reward and we should have done this so long ago. That would have unlocked. And by the way, once we get that done, then altars with an S, yes, multiple altars, tier six, won't be a problem. So 
if I come back here and, oh my god, I forgot the stupid uh, script to stop the sound. Like, what a good start to the year. I just stopped it now. Okay, so if I come back here, uh, then I got the Molten Iron. So the Molten Iron, again, same problem. I didn't import it in the ME system because basically what I decided to do is I came back here and this is a ultimate fluid tank. So ultimate, I'm going to put it right here. Ultimate fluid can contain 112 bucket. We basically are missing four buckets. So let's just grab this, put it back in here. Oh, back in here. And I, I don't know how much I need. Let me just find some. Let's put three more like I just don't want to waste iron but I think that should fill it so that should end that quest but we won't be able to uh, use it oh that would be a mate a really cool wand though although it might be really lame I have no idea what that wand is about but we'll we'll know in a couple of episodes once we've unlocked this we can unlock this and this I've already shown so the moment we're done with Brian boom boom and maybe even that one a thousand flux me glass cable that might be doable now okay you know what just out of curiosity because to be honest i love being all over the place right now i feel like just don't want to spend so much time preparing episode i, I want to be able to like just experience the the mod pack with you guys so a thousand uh, basically just missing some certain squads. I, I could be doing that right now. Okay, so I'm going to have to set up a recipe for this. But basically what I've just proven is that once we're done with this quest, we're going to go boom, boom, boom. And probably even these quickly. But so that's kind of why I prepared more assemblers. Because I'm going to need... So this is all set up, but I'm going to need crafting recipes for all of these coil and this coil and these heating coils. Like, I think that once we undo that, unlock that, I have a feeling that we'll go boom, 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 boom. Do all of these quests and be finished with this quest line. So we'll unlock more lava fabricator, but I don't have enough energy for that. So nothing super useful here. What? Oh my God. Some of these quests are like a fuck like really like a bad word that i wanted to say some batteries like nothing really useful like this one's cool this one's really amazing this one is like oh my god if i could have unlocked that before and this one was like meh whatever uh dragon hearts so this one i started doing a little bit of research i'm gonna need a hundred dragon hearts if what you're saying is that i have to spawn a hundred dragon and kill a hundred dragon i'm like Oh, if there's no way to automate this, it's really dumb. But whatever. We'll see when we get there. This will be two ways update. It can be either go back to the end and farm the hell out of it. Or just set up a crafting recipe. What's the... Yeah, that probably would be easier to just craft. And we can do... Uh, that's too expensive for duplication. Probably do a true nether rack. Anyway, uh, then we get into the more complicated stuff. So more pain has unlocked the power of blood. So we need a thousand blood rune. And we're going to need blood rune today. So that's one of the things I want to do today. Let's come here and let's do a blood rune. Blood runes. So the crafting recipe is this. And I'm going to use this orb because that's kind of the one that I'm leaving in the system right now. And then look at that. I now have an interface terminal so I can just go and put it right here so for the blood six altar which is going to happen today what i now need is 72 runes for the 72 runes i already have 32 here so i'm missing 40. i'm just going to go with 40 standard runes for now so if i look at room oh <laughs> so i don't need 40 i now need 12. craft 10 11 12. Go. This is a real joke. Oh my god, I'm I'm really in love with my system right now. Uh, so let's go back here. Um, here we're gonna need a thousand, just out of curiosity. If I go back to runes, this, and say a thousand, what do I need for that? Oh, it's going to be calculating for seventeen minutes and three quarters. Oh no, not that bad. 
So technically I can already do it because the stone are not set in my system. Um, 5,000 stone, what's this? This is 105 stacks, yeah, I'm good. I can totally do that quest right now if I wanted. And it's going to give me a better orb and ultimate emerald apple, which I'm not sure what they're used for, and it would unlock, oh! So yeah, I'm gonna have to give it another thousand blood rune, more runes of superior capacity or, and more rune of augmented capacity. But look at this. Once I've reset this altar at making runes, like look at these lights, it's like crazy. I'm going to, honestly, I'm gonna have to automate exporting uh, stone to this chest and importing the blank slate here to automate that. But it was my intention in one of the time lapse, I'm going to configure all of basically what I'm probably going to do in a time lapse is that I'm going to set all the recipe for these, all the recipe for this, for this, and for the uh, the other runes like these three times of rune because I'm going to be I'm going to want to use some of these runes. And what else? What else is it going to give me? <laughs> a thousand crystal cluster. Oh man, I want to cry. I I honestly did not look at that one this is I, i'm gonna have to up my up I, i'm gonna have to up my uh blood network game and then here it's gonna be a thousand rune of superior capacity a thousand filled socket and is that a hundred million or a trillion life essence i i, I don't know I, I don't even know that i want to know what is that Oh, but yeah, okay, that, that's an extremely good reward. Like, I feel like this blood orb is going to be amazing. Blood orb of Anorak. Store unlimited life essence. While Elb. What does that mean, while Elb? Store warping five. So all of these are better. So this is... No, I would need... Oh. Yeah, okay, I didn't think things through. So we're gonna make the tier six blood altar today, but we're not gonna be able to make the uh, new orb. So basically that was the surprise. That's the reason that there's a derailment in the episode. I finally got all of the nether star block that I needed and I can go boom, and right here, crystal cluster, boom, and let's go here. And that's, I guess the boom is my new thing. Don't know why I'm doing that. Offering more, all quests completed. Another quest line fully completed and claim reward and voila. You know what? Let's put that blue heart canister right here and give ourselves an extra heart. So heart, I don't have any other heart canister. I was just curious. Let me just take a second. Like, this can be used to make heart canister i need jeweled apple but that's kind of easy and this also can make heart canister oh you need to make the other art canister to make these heart canister so basically golden apple that's fairly oh those are the expensive ones so i could technically be making these heart canister Let's just give me one second so this can be crafted. Can I even do this? Ooh, how much? How many necrotic bone do I have? Oh, okay. Um, just give me a moment. This is a little sidetrack, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Voila! And now, if I press R on this, and I go like this. Anti tank canister. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Put it in here and press R. Okay, the green art canister though are really much harder to do. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh. So I'm only gonna make eight for now, but if I put those here, and now I'm gonna have more hearts. Basically, each of those had a heart. So technically you can have 10 red art canister, 10 yellow and 10 green, which means you get 30 extra heart. And as you can see down, 
you can see that my yellow hearts above the orange are starting to go up because I'm getting a lot more heart. Okay, so that being said, going back to the big news of the day, superior rune of augmented, rune of superior. So today we can make a tier six altar. I technically need to kill some wolves first. So just Are there more of you that wants to die? Yeah, okay. Are you going to leave me alone now? Yes, thank you. So, technically, this one has kind of been my main altar. I just... Can I put it here? Ooh, I kind of forgot to go look at an image. So, if I look at blood... I'm just going on the web quickly. Blood altar setup. Um, I just... Not sure how the blood tier 6 is set up. So according to the image, it's 3 out and 1 down. So 3 out. 1, 2, 3. So 1 down means that we're going to have to put that here. Oh! I'm feel kind of lucky that this seems to work and the way it works is that it's 76 divided by 4 oh it's not 72 it's 76 new block so that's 40 plus 32 that's 4 5 6 7 72 73 74 75 76 yeah okay so we're good so if i go calculator and I go 76 divided by 4. That's 19 per. Okay. So that's the center. So that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, really? First off, I need to kill you. And second off, I broke my ME system cable. Like this thing is sometimes almost a bit too good. So 19, sorry. So when I say 19, I 19 means divided by 2 is 9 plus 9, 18. So center plus 9. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And as with the other altar, then there's one block of space. And okay, so let me grab some stone, stone brick. So it's... I'll just break this, this, and this, and I'll go, and then I need to go one, two, three, four, five, six high. One, two, three, four, five, six high, and a crystal cluster. Mm, I think it's seven high. No, uh, yeah, it's seven high. So remove that and put one more. And one right here. Perfect. Oh, now I need to go. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to need to move the fissure. If, like I said in a previous episode, that we were going to need to move the fissure. But I didn't know I was going to be this right about that statement. In the sense that we're basically uh, encroaching on other stuff. So one, two, three, four, five, six... You know what? This is kind of easy. I should just go like this. That's kind of annoying, but I don't have a choice. And then it's going to be in the corner here, here, and here. So these are going to be like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. Yeah. And then crystal cluster. Let's just be sure, okay? If I'm right here, looking at the center of it, I'm above this and yeah, perfect. Because if you've noticed, this one is higher, one higher than this one, and this one needs to be one higher. The only one that's not higher is the beacon. Why? No idea. Please don't ask me. I don't know. Goodbye, Mr. Wolf.
and I'll reconnect the ME system later. It's only the import for the Fisher, which is not that important right now. Let me go to the other corner and go one, two. Perfect. I feel like these guys just love dying. They always come to me not to be petted, but to be killed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the crystal cluster. And a dead dog. Now I just need to put the runes. Right here. So room. Then I think we're going to have to switch to the other type of runes. <gasps> nope. Okay, so the rune of superior capacities, I'm going to keep a little bit for now. And I'm going to go with the runes of augmented capacity, like so. And you know what? Mm. Yeah, okay, whatever. Uh, yeah, no, just give me a second. So I'm going to get those back because I didn't finish the front and I want to use the standard rune in the front if I can, just for symmetrical, well, for symmetrical reason. I don't know why. I just, that's what I want to do. Okay, so one, two. So here it's going to be, nope. Like this and one two three four five six seven not putting the crystal cluster right now because right now what I want to do is I just want to get the altar started well put everything down except that one last block so that we can take one quick look at how it changes perfect so that worked and I'm going to put these two back here boo -boo. and then I'm going to go these rune of augmented capacity should make my altar uh, storage so much higher. It's going to be amazing. Okay, so I'm going to put these five rune of superior capacity right here, and I'm going to complete with that. And one extra, just like I counted. Okay, so now. Let's come look at this altar. Bye-bye. Uh, okay, so now let's come look at this altar. Oh my god, you're so annoying. Okay, perfect. So like I said, seven times already. Let's come and take a look at this altar. So if I click on it, this altar contains can contain up to 78105 and is tier five, 78105. And now, and now, tier six, and it can contain 149,937. <sighs> yeah, okay, so that's, that's literally amazing. And I'm kind of, I'm wondering if I should have put this on that altar or if it's okay that it's on this one. Like, this is my recharge altar, but until I make it like super amazing, not the greatest of things. Uh, by the way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay. So I made 13 runes of acceleration and one of the things that I'm going to do to improve my altars soon is that I'm going to change the runes. I'm going to put 19 runes of acceleration per. And the reason I'm going to put only 19 is basically this is how the altar work. I did a lot of research recently, okay? So these altars, okay, they take blood and input it in their tank once per second. Okay? But if I'm clicking this, you see it go up. You see it go up more than once every second. But there's 20 tick in a second. So when I put one rune of acceleration, it's now every 19 ticks, not 20. And then 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 
12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. And if I add six more, it's going to be every tick. That's the fastest that an alter can load. Once per tick. You cannot go faster than that. So once you have 19 of those, really nothing else matters because like you have 19 of those, meh, you're, you cannot go higher than that. Now, the second thing is these room of dislocation. Those, I don't think there's a maximum that you can put, but let's be honest. I don't know how fast I'm extracting blood and it's so crazy that I might need to do two pumps set up. Maybe one pump set up way back there just for the uh, this altar and one for all of the other altar because this one, I want to transform it into a blood sucker. I want to make it my recharge altar and I want to make it work like crazy. So these runes, they're called runes of acceleration. So if I look at all of the runes, let's take a moment and look at all of the runes. There's a rune of augmented capacity and a rune of, of superior capacity. So the rune of superior capacity works on a percentage base and I don't remember the exact number, but when I went back in the episode, at some point I talked about, if you put only rune of augmented capacity, you get 2000 LP more per. And, but if you replace all of these, so these rune of augmented capacity are made with an imbued slate and three buckets, but the rune of superior capacity need one of those plus obsidian plus a demonic slate, okay? So these, when you go above, I think it's 20, you, you beat the percentage where it's basically better. And then it's just exponential. Like when you get to 21, you exponentially get better and 22 exponentially more exponentially better and so on. So um, yeah, it's a really good idea to make more of those. But again, they cost, if I come here, they cost, one demonic, four obsidian. I'm not counting the buckets or the stone. They don't really matter for me. Uh, and three buckets and an imbued slate. Now, if you look at the rune of acceleration, we only need 19 of those, but they require an ethereal slate, okay? And speed rune, which are really not that expensive. What, what's my status on ethereal slate? Six stacks, so yeah, okay, not a worry. So once I decide to craft these, they should no longer be an issue. Like it should be really easy to just craft them and move on to something else. So what I'm going to do is the most, let's be honest, I think that the most expensive runes are these. So I'm gonna see, I'm going to make sure that each of the altar works once per tick. And then I'm gonna make sure these are a bit less expensive, but they need water bucket. Then I'm gonna make sure that they have a couple of those. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to find what's the balance where at least like this can keep up. Because if my reloading cannot keep up with filling the altar, well, there's no point. But I guess I could always make this better. So it's not like it's the end of the world. But basically that's my idea for the altar. And like I said, in, the t in one of the time lapse, I'm going to be automating all of these rest. Well, not all like the one that matters, the speed one, because the speed is used for the rune of acceleration. And I'm gonna be automating the rune of superior that's automated from the rune of augmented. This is already automated. Oh, and by the way, do you see this one rune of the orb? The rune of the orb is a rune that adds uh, size to your uh, blood network. Now, when we make a new altar, usually the first thing that we do is we grab that new altar. Oh. Okay, so I need to reset that one. Uh, okay, so I need to reset that one to 149.9. 149.9, oh my God, this is, the fact that we can't go by thousand is kind of annoying, but the reason it didn't restart is that uh, basically we're, we're not, you know what, let me just grab 10 and go 10 while we're doing this so that at least it's producing something. But we, we need to reset it so that it's always at the highest level so that it continues importing stone. Um, I kind of feel like we're going to be here for 20 minutes. OK, 
control doesn't do anything alt doesn't do anything so it's, it's really just a hundred at a time and there's no other options so 149.9 you need to do this so that because basically let's say that it's waiting and sitting it's never going to go below uh, 149.9 you saw it did one and it recharged faster then it was spending the blood. So at some point it becomes even an idea of using a timer instead. Putting stones in it with a timer. And see, it didn't even go below. Oh my God, this is crazy. Can I use 64? Oh. <laughs> um. <laughs> Wait, we're doing 64 at a time and it's barely going down okay that's that's just crazy now it means that this altar is refilling fast enough for tier one slate which is why when doing only one it wasn't providing uh it wasn't resetting the blood fast enough like that's just crazy i need this one to 149.9 which we're can i really say we're almost there I'm just, I'm kind of flabbergasted. This is kind of amazing. Uh, I think there might be a problem though. Is it going to be able to put stones in? So I, I want to reset it because I want to make sure that making this a tier six didn't break the ability of producing slates. Maybe the idea is I, I put them in bunch of 64 at a time now so that it does use the... Uh, the blood more so it's one one forty nine nine it's still the same number i just keep forgetting it and looking at it again one almost there almost there guys it's it's almost counting with etc and see ah uh, You know what? I don't care. At least it's putting stones, and I know that it can do 64 at a time. So once these 64 are done, they're going to transfer in here, and these that will contain 64 will at least go in. That's going to be an annoying sound, and maybe I'm going to want to kill that later, but like I just said, at least it's restarted. Okay, so what next? What next? What next? Uh, well... Like I said, and like the title will probably say, we want to start Technomancy, but I want to show you one last thing. So, I put all of these silver wood log here, and if you look at this, this one has Aqua Ignis Invictus. This one has Limus Ordo Aqua Air Victus. This one has Messi Ignis Terra Victus. This one has Terra. <sighs> Guys, it, you even killed yourself? Okay. And we've put, so let's grab this one. We've put this compound recharge focus. So I'm gonna put this in and you see that it's grabbing from here. Do you see the messy? The messy went down because the messy broke. Let me just take a second. What is messy? So messy, um, uh, mm, mm, mm. nope. Messy breaks down into your humanus and herba. Okay. Herba breaks down into Victus and Terra, so Terra. Um, and Messi breaks down into Humanus. Humanus breaks down into Cognito and Bestia. Bestia breaks down into, oh my God, this is so, uh, whatever. <laughs> I don't want to follow it anymore, but basically it used it. Now, if I look at this wand, it has everything except Ordo and Ignis. And if I look at this one, well, it's missing some Terra, some Air, some Ignis, some Ordo and some Perdicio. So let's put that one. And it's grabbing whatever it needs. And by the way, these all recharge. And basically, so it cannot grab Victus here because Victus breaks down into Aqua. Oh, one Ignis and it recharges. So if I leave them there, technically, they will almost fully recharge. Well, not really because they don't have Ordo and nothing in there breaks down into Ordo. So I still need to find one with Ordo, but that's kind of why I just, oh, sorry. That's kind of why I replanted some of these. So I come here, I look at this. This one contains Perdicio and Lux, which breaks into air and, and so this one is useless. 
This one, oh, this one has a node. This one has a node. Oh, all three have a node. Oh my God. I'm gonna also have to do some research to figure out how, um, where is that node? Right here. So I have to be careful not to break it. This one is <gasps> Ordo, 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 Ordo. Okay, 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 okay. One second. So I'm going to show you exactly what I've been doing. So this is what I do. I come back down here. I, uh, I come here, grab this. I said, grab this. Oh, really? Another one, another dog that wants to die? Yeah, okay, goodbye. Put this down right here. Then I need to come back here and I grab another one. So I grab a teleposition focus and I grab a teleposer and I grab a button. And then I just make sure that this is down to this. I go back here and that's the one I want. I want the one with Ordo because Ordo is basically the only thing I don't have a recharge for. Put this in, put this button and voila. Um, you know what? Might as well grab this. Perfect. And if I come back here, there will now be a node that has Hordo, uh, Ordo, not Hordo, right here. And if I put the wand in, uh, Can you please grab that? Oh, it's gone. It's it's empty. It already took it. So, and if I leave it here, so technically the best thing is to leave it there. And the reason that's the best thing is that if you leave it there, it's basically as it generates more, it's just going to generate the next one. So let me put that right here and a teleposition focus, do this. And let's go see, maybe there's another order one. That would be a bit epic. So I'm not going to like I'm, I might, it might not be what I'm getting, but okay, so it's right here. I'm just so nervously careful around this. <gasps> wow. Oh no, there's no ordo. I just thought that it looked epic, but it's it's so so. Okay, so let's put that here. Let's put the teleposer focus on. Let's do this and let's teleport it and let's get that back. And there was one right here. What's on this one? Oh, more ordo. Yeah, I definitely want this one. So let's go back here. We're going to move the setup to the next one. one more here to the position focus so I'm, I'm kind of showing you what i've been doing in my time lapse so one of the problem that i'm getting though is that i don't remember how i got the uh, how i got the uh, silver wood um saplings and i'm kind of running out of silver wood sapling because you're not always guaranteed to get some so let's put that down here. Again, switch the uh, the teleposition focus, come here. And that's the last one that I need to grab, I think. Yep, so let's put that and this and this. And voila. So like I said, that's what I've been doing in my time lapse. I've been setting those up and I'm really happy I did because now what's the status on this one? So this one, uh, no, this one, so let's put this one in and so it doesn't need aqua it basically what does it miss now no this one so it's missing only ordo okay and this one's missing air and other stuff so if i put that one in did you see how it grabbed from multiple place and now if i look at this one still missing air ordo and credisho so i'm going to leave the scepter in it because as it's generating Perdicio and whatever, like as these nodes are regenerating, it's just going to recharge. And when I come back here later, it's just going to be full. I, I wonder if we can make two one recharge pedestal. Oh, if, oh, okay guys, look, you can see 
what's in the wand directly from the pedestal. You don't even need to grab it. So the Ordo has two plays, like this one has Ordo and this one has Ordo. So it's just going to slowly be recharging as it goes. And now if I look at this, no node, no node, no node. Okay, none of them have nodes. So now usually what I do is I turn on uh, this and I just go ham. And ugh, not a single sapling. Oh, come on. Not a single sapling. One sapling. Yeah, okay. So that's what I was saying. I'm, I'm starting to run out of saplings. So I'm going to have to go back in the quest line a little bit and try to... Oh, and this one gave me two. So I can put one back. Let's go back here. Another one. And back here. And no. So that's, that's what I've been doing. And unfortunately, as you can see, I've been going down in saplings. So if I come back here and I go back to Thumbcraft right here, did this nature calms me and it has proven it's on my side should grow some more trees. So this one doesn't teach me. I don't, I'm going to have, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to have, oh, maybe I got them from the scribing when I crafted the scribing tools. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to go do some research. Like, I already have wasted kind of too much time on that. And technically, the episode is over. And all I did in this episode is claim some quest and derp around with Thomcraft, which seems to have become my favorite things to play with. Because even though I'm like, eh, I'm not sure I like it very much, blah, blah, blah. I always end up, oh my God, I always end up spending so much time on it. Um... I think the problem is that these don't even recharge my wand, which is kind of sad. Like, there's this mob that's plentifully available around me, but I cannot use it to recharge my wand. It's like, that's kind of meh-ish. Uh, okay, so that's done for now. Okay, so let's go back. Let's try to at least make the Technomancy book and see what it unlocks, because... That was the point of this episode. We were supposed to be starting Technomancy. So let's get rid of this, 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 this. Okay, so finally starting a new quest line. Technomancy. Advanced Magic. Technomancy is improving the hearts of magic I used so far. There are some guidance of there are some sort of guidance available for it. So we need to make a ritual tome. Oh, that's easy. So, book, well, apparently not, I'm going to have to make a book, let me just take a second, book like this, let's craft a book, this way, then I need glowstone, Glow, glowstone, one and two, and then we need an ink sack, like this, and voila, ritual tome, one quest done. It only took us 48 minutes to get to it. And introduction. Rituals are weak summons of nature's power. They are easy to set up and don't cost too much in terms of resource. Read further if you want to know more about them. There should be everything you need to know written here. Okay, I guess that's it. Crystal blocks. Crystals are what you use for the frames of the rituals. They contain enough power to emit light crystals. To emit light. Crystals have a natural ability to densify when placed above another one. I have no clue what that means, but basically it's showing that you can make multiple different blocks with different material. Those are all easy to make. Okay. Catalyst. Catalysts are the core of the rituals. They determine the main element which the ritual will lean towards. They can be activated either by being right-clicked or by receiving a redstone signal. Another thing that's not too bad to craft, although 
Okay, I... They seem to be the same block as before. Oh no, just deeper shape. So Dark Ritual, Black Hole. Tier 1, will destroy every block and kill everything living in a 7x7x7 seven by seven by seven area. Ritual is consumed. Yeah, okay, maybe not that one. Light Ritual, Purification. Will kill every monster above the catalyst in a 1x1x3. One by one by <gasps> uh, I need to try this with a wither. I don't know if it works, but imagine if this would kill a wither or if it would kill a... Uh, the, the Gaia Garden? I, I really need to try this. Um, light Ritual, Fire Ritual, Fire will convert water to obsidian in a 19 by 19 by 19 area under the ritual. Uh, that's kind of cool. Although, like, it's not showing what is what, so I'm not sure I will know how to make those. Water, place water underneath in a 3 by 3 area, okay. Earth Ritual, Collapse, Tier 1, closes all the gaps underneath the ritual in a 3 by 3 area. Good for closing caves. Okay, that's very useless. And power has a lot of treasures. Treasures. Some lore that you found in the village library seems to indicate that some villagers have found overwhelming corrective sticks. They look just like normal villagers, but exhibit incredible capacities. You found a special note indicating that the power comes from some artifacts buried, buried inside the existence mass of villagers. You think of a way to extract these artifacts and you conclude that the ritual are your best ally. That seems really dark. Extraction. The ritual of extraction serves to extract artifacts from special villagers. It is quite unstable and may cause catastrophes if not used correctly. Yeah, okay, that's not inspiring a lot of confidence. confidence. Protection. Now that you know how dangerous those villagers are, you decide to invent a device that seals temporarily this power. The existence sealing device allows for an easy way to seal up nearby powerful villagers for four seconds at an important, important existent cost. Okay, power of existence. Uh, you know what? I, I'm not. I don't want to read all of this. Farming power. Birth of the what? Birth of the fountain. The birth of the fountain is a ritual that converts power of existence of nearby beings into a self-sustaining mass of power of existence. It takes the shape of a cobblestone growl since this shape is supposedly the best for holding nonsense. The color of its content indicate how rich the fountain currently is. Green means close to empty while dark blue means it's nearing its max capacity. Okay. Uh, pylons. Using emeralds have proven to be a good way to allow the transfer of power. Okay, so basically that's how you transfer power from your power altar bizarre weirdo thing and better farming. It seems crop react to interesting way to power of existence, your new device to accelerate growth. So maybe that's useful for late, late game. Remember late game when we're going to need a shit ton of these crops? Maybe that's where we need to go. Well, that was honestly a bit lackluster. I, I was hoping for a better book because now this is done and it opens a couple of quests and oh, flower power is done because we made this dynamo already, hippie dynamo. This dynamo uses mana from Batania mana pool to create energy. No, thank you. I do not see any way in which I would be interested in using mana to make power when I have free power from blood. And then it unlocked of course, more rituals. Of course, more rituals. There are some rituals described in the book. Some of them seem useful. I should try one. So this wants us to make a catalyst, some crystal blocks, and a lever. So catalyst. Okay. Water ritual core. And the crystal block. Okay. So this is going to be to make water. Uh, what's this one? Transforming the world. Give, given enough power, I can change the structure of the wasteland itself. Ecological transmuter. See, I can't press R on that because I think that this is something that I need to unlock in the Batania, uh, in the Thomcraft book. Uh, below with power. Yeah, this one I've unlocked. This is the galvanized bellow. So that's totally in Thomcraft. Use this bellow to speed up an infernal furnace or to use the alchemical furnace without fuel. Uh, what else do we have around here? So, oh, we finally unlocked the pure metal. So, sanguine infuser. 
Uh, I, you know what? I want to grab that. So let's go back here, grab this. I, I totally want to make this. Um, holy... Um, guys. This is crazy. Like, look at this one. This one has barely done two stack. And this one went through all of the stone. So, yeah, in my time lapse, I'm going to have to automate that. And I'm so tempted to just remove this. What what kind of, what altar level do we need to make this? Oh, a tier one. Grabby, grabby. Grabby, grabby. And just, yep, okay, and do that. I just want to craft this. What is it called again? Let's go in the book. It's called Sanguine Infuser. So, Sanguine Infuser, like so. Oh, what am I missing? Sacrificial ingot, okay, easy. And what's the other thing? These are blood rune, okay, so rune, make 10, start, and ingot. Let's grab just two for now. I just wanna be able to make that machine. And voila, and voila again. And let's come back here. I just want to make it so I can see what it looks like. Um, iron. I'm guessing this is how it works. If I put this in, it's grabbing power from I don't know where and it's giving me purified iron. Purity 2. Oh, it can't go in anymore. Blunt, processed by blood magic, 2 of 2. Okay, so that's one done. I'm gonna, you know what, in a future episode, I'm gonna open the Safari net. What's this one? This machine can purify ore. You can get up to 7 ingot from each ore. This one uses Botania mana from an adjacent mana pool. How do we make this? Mana coil. Very easy. So mana powder, mana powder, right here. I let's be honest. Right now, this episode is way too long, but I'm super excited. So yes, I'm going to make this episode just a bit longer. So what was it called? Botania purifier. Botania. Nia purif. Oh. Purifier. Oh, botanical purifier. Yeah, okay, so that's not exactly the same thing. So if I come here and I put this. Oh, I just give me a second. Yeah, turn this off. If I put this right here, it's next to a mana pool, and I go and I put this in here. Oh, it's so beautiful. Purity three. Purity four. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Guys, I'm way too excited right now, but this is just amazing for me. Sorry, I was just looking what was making this much noise. Okay, so last book, uh, last one, Pure Metals. This machine can purify ore. Ignis Incinerator. Ignis Incinerator. I don't know if I can craft this one. Is it unlocked? Yes, it is unlocked. Enchanted Coil. Thank you. Oh, that was my last Thaumium. Steel Casing. Thank you. Arcane Stone Block. I think I have that. So let's just break this, throw this in here. Let's come here and say, can I make this? No, because I need th Thaumium. Iron, iron, give me iron. I, I'm way over on this episode, but I don't care. I'm just not going to put a time lapse. This episode is just too exciting. Oh, so that's not the problem. The problem is Precantatia.
which is not a problem because I have it here, but I have to find a better source of precantatio, by the way. One and two. And let's go back here. One and two, put that in here and the wand and yes. OMG. I'm. Um, how does this work though? Ignis incinerator. Okay, so that might take a little bit longer. Like the other two were so intuitive and e easy to use. Ignis incinerator. Okay, you've been hunting down a way to increase your ore output without using silly purification method, and now give you found one by placing block in the left slot and adding Ignis essentia. Okay, Ignis essentia. Okay, so 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 so. Essentia Ignis, perfect. I know how to do this. Just give me a second. So I need to come here and I need to grab a glass file. I've burned through all of, wow. Yeah, okay. Um, I'm gonna have to do something about Precantatio. Anyway, so if I come here and I go, I know that I have an Essentia export. Essentia, oh. What? Export. I guess I, oh, I guess I never made one. That might be a bit more annoying though. Ooh, what am I missing? Filtered essential. Almost there guys almost there and I know that this is a long episode but it's getting to something so epic that I think we'll all be you'll all be okay with that so give me that come back here oh no this one like so do this make this oh show it in there and now I need this Perfect. Then I go here to Essentia. I choose Ignis. I put it in a file. And then, oh, I'm going to need some cable. Kibble. Like so. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to kill you in a moment. Just stop interrupting my episode and maybe I would let you live. And then just do this to export Ignis. And then I do this and it's, oh, okay. This one is so slow. Oh my God. Like, see, this is the kind of thing, like what happened? Why did you make one so crazy fast and another so, huh? did I not have hundred of Ignis? Okay, that one might be problematic, charcoal. Huh? Okay, this is the kind of situation where I'm gonna break this and then I'm gonna come, give it a second, come back here and go, sharp. Device missing channel. Is this broken? Yeah, okay, so it's it's not broken, it's just it's missing a channel. But okay, let's go back here and that's kind of annoying. Uh, I'm going to need a lot of Ignis. Do I have more Ignis around here somewhere? No, but I have more stupid wolves. And what's the status of this one? Let's grab it and let's put that one in. Oh. Man, I should have done that episodes ago. So now I'm telling you guys, this is what you need to do. It's really amazing. And nope, no nodes in that one. Okay, so if I come back here, is this Ignis? Yes, this is Ignis. So let's grab this one and let's go. Just wanna check. 
oh, there's an Ignis in here. So let's grab this Ignis. Let's come back here. Let's put it all in the system. Let's reconnect this and let's say Ignis in here. Oh, like, okay, but that's, that's a bit disgusting though. Okay, so that last purific, so the Botania purification, great. The blood magic purification, great. The Thumbcraft, uh, no, no thank you. I think we went through, through 200 Ignis in moments. So I don't know how much Ignis it used. If I go back to the book, not this one, to this one, Ignis Incinerator, will it say, uh, I guess after the ore has been processed as many times as desired, throw the purified ore into a furnace in order to cook it. Yeah, okay, so great. So if I go purified iron, so this tier four purified iron will give five and if it's purified another time it will give six and if it's purified another time it would give seven so now by putting him through the other two it would give four uh five okay so that's not purified so that would give five i just want to check something if i go iron and i go like this and grab one and i grab a second one so i have two options i can put one right here and I'm gonna go down here, being, uh, nope, nope, crafting room. Can, is this something I can put in the infusion chamber? No, is it something I can put in the enrichment chamber? Yes, and it gives me two. So right now already, I can make one into two. Uh, let's go back upstairs and we're gonna have a wolf to kill of course and if I come back here this gave me only one okay so right now with just a me um, uh, mechanism I can transform all of these into two whereas with the these I can transform into five to the other two process so this is the kind of thing where unfortunately the idea does seem good, but the cost from uh, from um, Thumbcraft is really crazy. I'm not sure it's worth it. Two times in each of the three purifier. This is something where I'm basically going to just do it uh, two times in sanguine and two times in blood magic and that's it that's I'm, that's gonna make five instead of seven and i'm going to be happy because unfortunately it's not times two this is a complete lie unless i'm gonna make one to check but if i look at purified iron so this is one that makes two this is purity two that makes three purity three that makes four. Oh, this one makes six so it goes from four to six and wait what five oh no okay so four five six and seven so no the this one no way it's not going to be useful probably going to do the other two for sure i say for sure but nothing is sure in life but this one doesn't make any sense whatsoever. I'm a bit sad about that. So there won't be any time lapse because this episode is way too long. But, uh, oh, I'm stupid. Yes, this episode will have a time lapse. And the reason this episode will have a time lapse, even though it's already way too long, is that I need, oh, sorry, I need to... I need to think, well, I need to prepare for the next episode, which is going to be a Tomcraft episode. So in my episode, I'm going to uh, prepare, make sure that I have 1664, that I have all of this to make an arcane assembler and also a, fully, a full scepter. So I want to make a second scepter. And more importantly, I want to make the infusion provider. So this is the one that's the most important. 
because once I can make this arcane infusion, so I'm probably going to need to make some more mirrors, probably gonna be easier this way than using the mirror because then I can plug this directly to my Emmy system. And then once this is plugged to my Emmy system, I can make the arcane assembler. And uh, yeah, then I'm going to need some more nodes to be able to provide. So I need a little bit of time lapse to prepare all of this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my nodes down. Like what I think I'm going to do is maybe here, like I'm going to put one node here and then go one, two, three, four, five, six, one node here, one, two, three, four, five, six, one node here, one, two, three, four, five, six, a node here, just so that they're not close enough to each other. And so that I at least can see what the, what are the other nodes that I have, because basically, what I'm going to need to do is make a couple of energized aura node. Well, a couple, I need to have enough energized aura node to cover all six type of essentia so that I can then have a V relay go into my crafting system so that I can auto craft. And this is still not good. I, I'm going to complete one just to say that I've done it, but there's, I can already tell you that there's really absolutely no point in doing this. And the reason that there's no point in doing this is how so also one of the other thing I want to do more import bus so I can import from every single Alembic because right now do you see this one got full and when it got full it no or it had something so it put the penis there so after that every penis goes there and then Ignis and then Metallum like it just meh, it went bad so I'm, I'm gonna have to make sure that everything gets back correctly also What's the other one? This one, Essential Provider. I also want to be able to craft one of those because one of those is going to make it so that I can make these uh, th like th thomomium, th thomomium, th thom thomatorium uh, more easily craftable of material. And basically what you can do with that, I believe, is that you can set recipes where you go through the interface and you say, send one ingot and four precantatio to make a thomium ingot. So I really want to get to automation, which is kind of why I need to do this a uh, little bit of time lapse, even though this episode is way too long. So guys, it was a very long episode, but I think it's very exciting. Like we've unlocked this, we're going to have to adventure a bit more in there. Like even here, it wants us to make notes. So it's just, there's so much stuff to do now. And unfortunately, things are going to slow down. And what I mean by slow down is that just creating one note probably going to be a full episode. Like some of these are going to be probably a full episode in themselves. Like this quantum jars, like everything's just going to become a bit more complicated. And I'm probably going to need a couple more time lapse to set up more things because I still haven't up my uh, mana generation game. And that's something that's completely holding me back. All this back place here is going to be used for mana generation. We're gonna to have to find like, I tried setting up the lava fabricator back here and I couldn't figure out uh, figure out how to make it work. I thought I could put a timer in the thermal lily because the problem with the thermal lily is that if it finds lava, it's just gonna suck it up. It's gonna suck up every second, I think. So I went through 16 buckets, a hundred, no, 162 bucket of lava, like in a second, because I have not found how to make that fountain work on a timer. It just seems to always be working. There's no off, uh, is that true? Just give me one last second, because you know what? I'm already way so above anyway. What What is one more second? If I take a lever like this, and I put a lever here. This is still working and I go like this. Oh, so it's, it doesn't work on a redstone signal. Okay, so I might find a way of automating it. So what basically I have to make sure is that it only puts lava once every six minutes because this plant has a six minute cooldown. So I'm going to work a little bit more on that because those plant generates a lot of mana. They're usually really good and it, it could be a good form of mana generation because these are kind of slowish. But anyway, I got to just make more mana 
probably going to use the cake flower also because cake is something I can automate cake so cake is made with we have a ton of this we have a ton of this eggs is made with the chicken essence and milk is made with the cow essence so those are all things that we can do oh my god I have so many things to do I just don't know like I'm gonna have to slow it down like I tried to cram too much in this episode and now I'm paying time lapse I'm still going to make a little bit of time lapse because if I don't you know, just give me a second okay so no this episode is too long so I'm gonna put it aside and my next episode is I wanted to work on corruption I want to try corruption so next episode I'm going to make it a very short episode just to make the corruption catalyst and make a what's it called a um, a ritual where I'm going to start trying to corrupt my soul and we're going to see and it's I'm going to make it a smaller episode so that at least then I can start working on preparing for Thomcraft because that's going to take too much time and this episode is already way too long so that's the plan it's a bit all over the place but that's the plan for now guys thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next episode bye now